up guys Phoenix here and today we're going to be working on Adventure Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's World so this is gonna be the first part in the tutorial so I suggest if you're on Pete's pocket edition of Minecraft you put it flat otherwise you'll leave yourself about 150 to 150 space to build it in um, give yourself a little bit of breathing room 25 to 50 blocks extra just to make sure if you're on a pixel art world you know the drill already just um, just trying to state it for you guys so what we're gonna do is start over here and we're gonna start with the arm we're just going to start with one black wall on the ground, and from there, we're going to start branching up and to the right. So we're going to be putting our placement block on the right side each time. So we're going to go up and to the right two vertical, two times in a row, just to kick it off. One, two. Placement block again. One, two. From there, we're going to go up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, two vertical. up and to the right one single again so it's like a little back and forth right here so the arm is very slanted so we just need to keep the slant going at a steady kind of pace so it's one two two one two one from there we're gonna go up and to the right two vertical again and from the top block in the two vertical we're gonna put one black wall to the right next we're gonna up and to the right two vertical From that two vertical now we're gonna go up and to the right three single as well one two three and we're almost at the bridge in the arm because all animatronics have joints and stuff so the joints in the arm kind of need a spot to break off at so that's where the split's gonna happen it's coming right up after we do a couple more singles and then switch over to flats so we're gonna up and to the right two vertical again and just like we did down there, the top, the top block in the two verticals is going to get one to the right. We're then going to go up and to the right, six single blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we can switch over into flats. So from there, we're going to go up and to the right, two flat. Up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, two flat again. Up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, three flat, then a single. So it's just always flats, then a single. As you can see, two, one, two, one, and then three, and then we'll finish that up with a single. And now we're at the spot where I told you where we're gonna have the split. So from this one single, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to the right of it and put three black wool going down. So this is connected directly. It's not at a diagonal. So to the right of it, one, two, three, just like that. And then also on top of it, so from this block, on this single block again, we're gonna up and to the right, two flat. So that two flat's actually touching the three from before, but just, we're just working from this one single to build it off. So two flat at the diagonal of this block, and then three vertical connected directly to it. So we're going to work with the two flat and then we're going to work with the three vertical next, but we're going to do the two flat real quick and just keep on looping around it. So we're going to up and to the right, one single, up and to the right, four flat, one, two, three, four, up and to the right, two flat. Then for the highest point in the shoulder, we're just going to go up and to the right, six flat, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's just start bringing it back down. So from the six flat now, let's put your place block underneath. We're gonna go down to right two flat, two times in a row. One, two, place and block, one, two. From there, we're gonna put an extra block to the right here. So it's three long now. And from the top of that block, we're gonna add an extra one to the top. And then below it, we're gonna put six going straight down. One, Two, three, four, five, six. So mark the top and the bottom of that block. The top is what we're going to use to branch off to the rest of the body, while the bottom is what we're going to use to finish the shoulder and bring this arm to the ground. Hopefully I left myself enough room. This is looking like it's taking a lot of space up, but I think I left myself enough room. I'm going to start building the jaw just to see if I did leave myself enough space. 
But anyways, um, going to the bottom of the eight we have right there, we're gonna go down and to the left, three vertical. So put your placement blocks on the left side. One, two, three, placement block. Down to left, two vertical. One, two, placement block. Two vertical again. Two singles, so we're still going down to the left at the diagonal. So here you can see, it's three, two, two, one, one. And then we're gonna go down and to the left, three flat. And this is the joint that that part is going to meet up with, so we're gonna bring that part down now. So go to where we had the three vertical all the way over here earlier, whoops, just mark it with dirt. And we're gonna go down and to the right from there, which means you put your placement block on the right side or underneath. So to start, we're gonna go down and to the right, two vertical. Down to the right, two single, one, two. And then put your placement block. Down to the right, two vertical again. Down to the right, two flat. We're then gonna keep going on the diagonal pattern, two singles. One, two, and then just to close this graph, we're gonna go down to the right, two flat. One, two. From the center block now, whoops, knock that one out. And is it changing day time? Let me put it back to day. I felt like the day was getting a little darker. We're gonna go down from the center block in the three flat right here. So first we're gonna go down four blocks. One, two, three, four, right underneath it. We're then going to go down to the left, three vertical. Down to the left, two vertical, three times in a row. So put your placement blocks at each time. One, two, three. And then just to touch the ground, we're going to go down to the left, one single, three times in a row. And now let's fly back up. And we're starting the shoulder from here. Um, at this point in the pixel, I remember when I was building it on stream, some of you guys had dirty minds. You know, this is just the shoulder. Don't be a dirty, don't be, don't be very perverted, right? We're going to start the rest of the face now. So we're going to up and to the right, two flat. And this is where the chin and stuff is about to start, because we're going to jump into the joints there. Up and to the right, three flat, two times in a row. So one, two, three. One, two, three. We're then gonna start building the rest of the face, I mean the lower face. And I just wanna see if we have enough space, so that's why I'm kind of focusing on rushing the face and not too many details. So we're gonna up and to the right, two flat. From this two flat, we can either go up and to the left or down to the right. We're gonna go down to the right. So let's leave the marker there. We're gonna go down and to the right, one single. Then down and to the right, two flat, four times in a row. One, two, placement block. One, two, placement block. One, two, placement block. So that's three, and we need four. There we go. From there, we're gonna go down into the right, three flat. Down into the right, two flat again. Down to the right, three flat, two times in a row. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me just delete these extra placement blocks. Down to the right, five flat next. One, two, three, four, five. And I swear if we run out of space, I'm gonna be so sad. Um, I'll just shift the pixel art over in on my own spare time. So don't worry about it. Just make sure you guys have as much space. Um, down to the right, four flat. One, two, three, four. And then finally down to the right, 22 flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Let me recount that because I think I messed up. I'm just trying to find two groups of 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, we did count it correctly. I always get nervous when I count those big blocks. You should get nervous too because if your pixel art ends up slightly off, it might be times like those where you just didn't count them that it's where a mess up happened. So from that 22 flat, we're gonna go up and to the right, six flat next. One, two, three, four, five, six. And from the third block in the six flat, put a marker on that because when we do the Chica bib, 
we're going to be going down from there. And I'm actually going to mark the other part of the Chica bib on the left side. Whoops, my controller died. We're going to keep playing. On the left side where we had those four groups of two flat earlier. So right here. The second two flat right here. Let me just mark it for you guys. So you can see the second one. So we have one, two, three, four. We're going to go to the left block in it and put seven going down. That's where the bib is going to start for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's where the bib starts. And on the right side where we just marked the bib over here, we're going to go down from it, three vertical. And that's where that bib starts. One, two, three. But we're not going to be bringing that down to the ground. We're just marking it. So when I say go back to the bib, you have both start points for both sides ready. Anyways, from the six vertical, flat, sorry, flat, we had right here. We're gonna go up and to the right, four flat. One, two, three, four. Up and to the right, three flat. And from the final block in the three flat, you can either go up and finish the rest of the face, or what we're gonna do is try to reach the ground and see if we have enough space left on the pixel art. We're gonna go down one. We're then gonna go down into the right, three flat again, and do the same thing we just did here. Three flat and one down on the final one. So one, two, three, voila. We're then gonna go down into the right, two flat. And from the two flat, we can go to the left or the right of it. I'm gonna start off the left side, but we're not gonna continue it. We're gonna go down to the left, two flat. There's a lot of stuff to meet up with later I'm just setting out the framework for it, but we're going to try and reach the ground as soon as possible. We're then going to go back to the two right here on the top and go up and to the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. And let me just zoom out real quick so you guys can see how things are supposed to look right now, how things are progressing. Um, pause the screen if you need to, but you should be progressing like this. And I think we have enough room to finish I'm going to touch the ground before I end this part of the video. And let me see if it will fit on the camera too. Hopefully it fits on the camera. Um, from the five flat, we're going to go down into the right three flat. One, two, three. Down to right four flat, two times in a row. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're then going to go down to the right two vertical and on the bottom block in the two vertical we're just gonna add one to the right from there we're gonna go down into the right three flat down to the right hmm should we do two vertical or one single I'm gonna try two vertical I want to try two vertical so it should look like this we have three flat into two vertical from there, we're going to go down into the right, six single blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six. How much space do we have left to the wall? Oh, we have quite a bit of room. Hopefully we make it. We, I think we can make it. From there, we're going to go down into the right, two vertical, four times in a row. So placement block, one, two, placement block, one, two. So we need four times, that's two. That's three, that's four. And to touch the ground, we're just gonna go down into the right, three vertical, one, two, three. So we ended up having enough space, thank God, because I did not wanna redo it. But it's kind of off camera, which is fine. Um, not all the detail needs to get covered. So in the next part, I think we've covered our time limit. Yeah, 15 minutes is pretty fine. We'll cover the bib and start the face, now that we know that everything met up properly. But you can delete some of these extra placement blocks. The ones that aren't markers, you should delete them so that they don't get in the way of real markers. You should have two markers over here, one right there on the two flat, one right there on the three flat, and then over in the center, we have one on the bib on this side, another on the bib on that side. This should be gone. And then the last one over here where we're starting the face. So that's one, two, three, four, five markers. You can see it on the right cameraman. Those are where your markers need to be. Hopefully you guys are ready. The pixel art does look a little bit less perverted. <laughs> um, hopefully you guys did enjoy. This is Phoenix, and I'll catch you guys in part two.
All right, so we're back at the finished product, and if you guys saw on my live stream, um, I did have only three eyelashes until some people said that Bill has four, so I added in two extra ones. That wasn't on my blueprint, that was personally done by me. Um, so I added in two, I'll show you guys where to put them in if you want to, otherwise you guys can just get to the coloring, which is yellow stained clay, yellow wool, black wool, and white wool. You probably don't even need this part of the tutorial, you can just pause the screen and see where the colors go yourself, but I will still do it anyways. So where the eyelashes are that I didn't cover in the video is on the bottom one right here. We went to the second to last block on this big row right here. So the second to last block right here. We added two underneath it, and then we went down into the right one single. That's that eyelash. And then the one up here on the six flat all the way at the top, we kind of mirrored what we did on the right side. We see on the first block though, not the last block. We go up and to the left, two vertical, then up and to the left, one single. That's how you get the four eyelashes if you wanted four on each side. So back to the colors now. We just have black, white, yellow, and then yellow stained clay. It's very easy. His legs, all black wool. His arms, black wool as well. We colored in the tie. We colored in his eye. We colored in the hat. So all that's left to do is yellow and white because the yellow stained clay are the lines that we covered. So the yellow wool is going to be everything except for the inner eye. As you can see, everything, literally everything. And then the white wool is just going to be the inner eye right here, the, the oval shape. And you should be done. So there you have your Bill Cypher Pixel Art tutorial, guys. I'll be sure to start covering more tutorials on material because I've been putting a lot of time lapses out because the stream promotes me to do it. Um, the stream encourages me to get on top of my game. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this like uh, um, faster content since I quit and I came back. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Just trying to make sure I have everything covered before I end the tutorial. But yeah, I think that's everything. This is Phoenix, and I'll see you guys later.